Guys, this is the Fun Sid G500. It's not a scam. It's well worth it. The reviews that you read that said that they were missing parts or that the quality wasn't good, that was not my experience. All parts were in this car. Controller worked first time. He's very happy with it. So if you're thinking of getting the Fun Sid, our experience was great. See you later. Are you excited? Maybe just, this is your birthday present. Yeah. So it also has the instructions. So in case you wanted the instructions, I'll take you through them real quick. You come, assembly tools that you will need but don't come with is we need a screwdriver and long nose plier. Mm -hmm. I don't have a long nose plier, Dad, by chance do you? Nope. All right. I don't travel with all that anymore. <laughs> Well, I'll figure it out. I may have a... I don't think I have a long nose plier, but I may have to go get one. It may not be necessary. It's probably for uh, crimping the wire connections. Turn the vehicle body upside down. Looks like the first thing we're doing is attaching the front axle. And then we attach the rear axle. And get this out of the box. And can yeah. Really yes, sir. Uh, just... I mean get this real quick while I have it just go ahead and pause and do what you need <gasps> we're gonna connect the power supply under the seat that's why I just said put them in when we take the seats out we'll find the power supply for the two back end motors this is in insert the tabs on the windshield into the grooves on the wheel until you hear click so that's how to get the door assembly on it's got a seat lock button Ah, uh, so you lock in the seat. Right, but this is supposed to stay. It's got the power button, forward stop, reverse lever, sound button, throttle pedal, RC manual switch. So the radio has previous, long volume, high speed, low speed, device input one, digital vol voltmeter. Wait, digital voltmeter is K. Oh, K. K lets you know how much battery you have left on it. Good. Thanks. So it, this probably is for the auxiliary. So how to charge the battery? Very important piece. Open the charging cover below the seat. If it is locked, please turn the knob to the secret. Plug the charger port into the charger socket. Plug the charger, plug into a wall outlet, the battery will begin charging. Here it is. So that's the charger port. You open it up, you plug the charger into there. So you never have to remove that seat. Very cool. Birthday. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear baby Brandon. All right, so we got it open pretty big looks like we got a lot going on in here got some got, looks like a box with some tools springs the controller we got the controller this I bet you is the charger got a little steering wheel It's a nice, nice finish. Wow, hey, it's black. That's what I ordered. It, they had a white picture of it. Yeah, the, it was white in the picture, but it looks good. So far, so good. Okay, looks like we got some wheels. Mercedes Benz on the brake calipers. Ooh, nice. Some good looking rims. Oh, 
are those? Rear motors. So we got independent drives. Huh? Independent motor gearbox. Nice. This is the instructions for the G500. We have another wheel. Another wheel. Two more motor gearboxes. So I guess each wheel has got its own motor gearbox. So it's four wheel drive. Heck yeah, that's pretty good. Got dad helping me out. Putting together his only grandson's car. What's that? Looks like the back cover. The back the, cover. Yeah. yeah All right, let's get this. Uh, well, I guess let's open the instructions first, actually. That's a. That's, something tells me to follow the instructions. Okay. What's that? No stuff. Part of the seat. Oh, the back part of the seat. All right, so part one of the instructions is to put it on its back. And pull all the parts out, take all the plastic and rubber bands off. Yeah, that too. <laughs> there you go. And then we have the front and the back axle we're putting the wheels on. There was, there's a bunch of zip ties you got to cut loose. Ooh. Nice metal on plastic frame. Front. Excellent. This is your tie rod for steering. Oh, it's that steering right there? It is. Need washers and screws, springs. This is a bag of those. This may be the washers right here. We got mm -hmm. springs and washers right here. And then we're gonna need wheels. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pack two wheels. I got them here. So it looks like the first thing we're gonna have to do is get this. Need a Washer, a spring. Okay, we got springs and washers in here. And a lock nut. And a lock nut. That's crazy. Everything you're asking for is in this bag. We got two springs. We got these. I made of plastic. I hope they're not important piece. And then we got one bog cable. So we got to get this positioned correctly. So a nut in a spring. Oops. Washer rather. Help on that too. You've got to push it down a bit. Yeah, you do. So you're going to have to put some pressure down and then nut it up. Be right back. Like it. So guys, yeah, there's these brackets here. Put the motor through the bracket. Don't let it freestyle in like you saw previously. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't work. So, and now we can put the rest on. Slide the drive wheel push. into the front axle. Slide the number 10 washer under the axle. Tighten the lock nut to the end of the front axle with a spanner. What's a spanner? Where's a spanner? What's these a spanner? These things are spanners. Ah, so we're supposed to use this as a tool? Yeah. Oh my gosh, uh, yeah. it's a tool that gives you enough torque to finish tightening it. Oh my gosh, read the instructions, guys. Yeah. Do not... So do a few turns on the spring nut also. You look at these things, they don't tell you that it's a spare. That is beyond cool. This is a really good way of locking it in. It still has some gap, but not nearly as much as before. 
All right, so we got the wheels and the motors and the gearboxes on, and we got it on right. It does have a little bit of play, but it doesn't lose engagement from the gearbox. So, so now we're doing the rear, and the rear has motors and gearboxes too. This is true four-wheel drive. Where does that thing go? Okay, so this is the hole where the motor goes. I'm thinking it's got to be inside, but I don't feel one. No, 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 don't do that. Don't bend it, please. Just, well, yeah. yeah. It doesn't go in very cleanly unless you do. It's all right. Yeah. We're going to connect the power supply under the seat. That's why I just said put them in. When we take the seats out, we'll find the power supply for the two back end motors. So we got the wheels on. Um, still haven't figured out if these back wheels power on so far. Not seeing a power option. If you've done this before and you know that there's a power option, let us know. So we're going to flip it over now and put the rest of this thing together. So here we have my son's truck. And if you're watching this later in life, Brandon, this is me and Grandpa putting it together. Got a nice, nice finish. And you're napping upstairs, by the way. So you're gonna, you just came back from Build-A-Bear. You got your Build-A-Bear and you opened up some presents. Grandpa's got more presents for you. And we'll be presenting this to you filled with presents. So hopefully you catch that at the end of this video. You get the instructions there. Yep, let's, uh, what part of the instructions are we on now? <gasps> We're gonna connect the power supply under the seat. That's why I just said put them in. When we take the seats out, we'll find the power supply for the two back end motors. <sighs> Thank goodness, guys. They're not, they are not, uh, what you call it? They're not spares. They just needed you to put the cable in there so that you can get to the main power supply. That is cool, great engineering. China number one. Read the instructions from back to front. Yes, so you don't- know what you're expecting. I hope you're following this like an adventure novel and you're just as surprised as I am. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, whoever's following this like frame for frame, you've made so many mistakes. I'll try to edit this. <laughs> I'll try to edit this so you don't make the same blunders all we did. Red to red. All, all the different powers are, okay. That's the rest of the power. Yeah. That's a pretty hefty power supply. As someone who's uh, worked on power wheels a lot and it has bought power supplies, that's a pretty nice looking 12 volt. They definitely come prettier looking, so that's decent. The one from Power Wheels is gray and ugly looking. Cracks easy too. Right. So red to red is last. That's your main power. Let's see. Okay. This guy has to come out somehow. Is that the one you folded? Instead of folded, but I mean. Don't fold it, guys. Uh, I'll get a screwdriver. I'll just disconnect this. Yeah, almost there. So you just connected one of the motors. And now we have a four-wheel drive vehicle. Heck yeah. He's gonna love this as he runs over the ladies. Just kidding. Okay. And red to red. It wants us to connect main power now? Well, no, it wanted us to build a bunch of other stuff first, but I figured he's gonna do this now. Put the seat back in and then put all the stuff on. Well, let's what? just get the uh, steering wheel on first. Okay. Pretty nice looking steering wheel, too, if you ask me. That's our last little one. Do here. Then we have this hood. He's gonna love this thing. Ooh, rear view mirrors too, how fancy.
How do you get it all the way in? So the steering wheel is in. And it works. Now we're putting in the front windshield. Did you snap? Oh. oh. Alright, we got the hood in. It did take a little bit of a, a little bit of added weight, but the hood's gotta click in. When it clicks in, you'll know you got it because it'll be super firm. My dad was cracking up about this earlier with the fake windshield in the back. But it doesn't matter because you're gonna put a fake tire on it too. That's right. Oh wow, it's coming together, baby Brandon. Alright, we connected the red cable, so it's officially live now. But we haven't charged it. So there are set screws that you use to keep the back part in. So four set screws keeping this back rest in place. Now we're putting on the faux back tire. It's on. That was easy. <laughs> and window lock, door lock. And we got to put these on. Whoever we put these on. Doors open. Both? Yeah, oh, it's got a little lock on the door. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, it works. You can hear your Oh my gosh, and the front headlights turned on for it. Save yourself for the boy. And then we just turned it off. That was cool. That's pretty cool. He's going to like this thing. So now there's three more screws to hold these windows on. Oh snap. So now we gotta put the windows on. Alright, at least we're almost done. I get I'll get a window. Yeah, you Thank you for my window, sir. So it'll have two locking points. Oh that's good. Keep the kids nice and safe. Huh. Is it supposed to have this gap here? Maybe that's the guide or something. That was huh? You really got to put some weight on it and bring it all the way in until you hear four clips. Yeah. It also has this like permanent lock, which I appreciate in case the kids definitely window want lock. It's window it's lock. Yeah, which will make the door impossible to open. And then uh, got to put some set screws in there. I, so check this out. This little Mercedes, the 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 mirrors fold in. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> like real life. Baby. Just like real life. And it's in. And it folds in. <laughs> That's cool. This working door, it's like you really do need to open the door with this. It doesn't open. It really stays secured without you opening this. You don't have to worry about your kid just rolling out. Now we got to put the set screws on. Okay. Fix it. Start with the middle. It's easiest. And then this one is kind of at an angle. Okay. And then the last one is the front of those two. This one? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, that's, there's, you got to put in the back of the seat. That's just the front of the seat. <laughs> It's got four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, high speed. You can turn on the high beams. It's 
got the high beams or the regular beams, you can Oh, that's cool. It looks like it tries to drive itself. And then it's got some pre-built tracks. Happy third birthday, baby Brandon. We hope you enjoy turning three, my boy. All right, so now we've got it all ready. He's still napping, so we don't wanna, we wanna wake him up to this thing. He's only three, so he naps often. It's easy to surprise him. Uh, it came with this charger. Let's charge her up. Really quick, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear baby Brandon. Happy birthday to you. What do you think? He woke up. He just woke up. Save it for dinner. <laughs> Guys, it works. It's a great product. It's a great product. <laughs> And I can control his speed. Put it on max speed. Turn out. Guys, this is the FunSid G500. It's not a scam. It's well worth it. The reviews that you read that said that they were missing parts or that the quality wasn't good, that was not my experience. All parts were in this car. Controller worked first time. He's very happy with it. So if you're thinking of getting the fun Sid, our experience was great. See you later. So there's a rocking chair mode and this is it. The motors are a bit harsh on the ears, but I, I, I like the concept. You can still honk and turn on the radio and adjust the headlights, but it locks him into a rocking chair so he can't throw it in reverse or forward. And he still likes it. So one person can pull this by themselves <laughs> because it's got these wheels that come down that you can put back up that let you drag it. And it's got front headlights. Close your door. What do you think? It's here. You like it? So, you like it? I like it. Hey, hey, I'm glad you like it. It's perfect for the night rides. Guys, it drives just fine on the grass because it's four wheel drive. Pretty good. What do you think? safe to say it was a great success he likes it what do you say to grandpa thank you grandpa thank you grandpa for putting it together thank you because i 
<laughs> well, Daddy recorded. Would you have been able to put this together? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Our plan was to put it.